Hello YouTube and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. We're in Miami again. Um, it just seems to be a place that a lot seems to be happening. But as you can see at this particular point in time, where we are in Miami is standing on where the railway is going to be going out over towards um, Oceanside. So we're on what will be the platform and the railway uh, very, very soon in this episode. In fact, and you can see on the opposite side there is a house. That house is going to have to be demolished in the way of progress, in the way of the railway expanding. Um, maybe one of the houses, maybe both of them will not have to be demolished, or not all of them in the area, but some will have to be demolished. So in this episode, that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to ensure that the way in from Laredo is properly set up and the way from here over to Oceanside is also properly set up, taking into account the bridge where you can hear the horses uh, trotting over the bridge, hauling the cargo and some passengers. Uh, but you can hear those horses behind me. That is also a bridge that is going to have to be redesigned. So that's what's coming up in this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Now I'm letting uh, I'm letting time pass on this. I'm just playing away through time. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to immediately get on with expanding this railway station. And to do that, we need to naturally do this. There we go. And arriving the uh, what's it again? The miscellaneous these. Uh, let's add them down there because that seems far more reasonable to have that. Although, this one, they sort of have it in the middle, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do it like that. Uh, we also probably want to put some canopies over here. And, in fact, the entire station probably does need to uh, does need to change in some, in some which way. So I am actually considering some sort of change here. The question is, is just what sort of change am I looking for? That's that's the problem. Because I think the station building needs to be a lot, lot bigger. And as you can see, we cannot fit a large station building here. It just does not want to fit. It's just not uh, not something that's suitable in the, in the area. But being the capital city and being where it is, that is probably vital to have. So, what I'm considering doing is knocking out this track, knocking out this platform, adding in a second line there, then adding in a platform, and then the station. So we'll have an additional two lines, and we've got that fifth line over there. And I think that might, just might, be good enough. It may also help us uh, with this section. So that is what I'm going to do. So I do not know why I did that, but this is going to all change. Ignore all the noise coming from the... Uh, one module will be removed. No. I want to do that. I want to ensure that this is correctly done so you go there you go there you go there there we go that's starting to look right platform there that's starting to look correct then we'll knock that out and we will add I suppose we knock that out as well that out knock that out pop a passenger platform in there okay well that's going to need some a little bit of work but let, let's go ahead and finish this off let's see now this is going to be dangerous I'll tell you what I could do stick a temporary side entrance there so that way it knows it's still a train station there we go 
always causes some some problems when when you do that. Right. I'm then going to quickly demolish uh, this section of track. For that will be built up properly soon. I will then add the platform back in like that. Subsequently followed by... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Really? How is that possible? Why is that happening? So I will get rid of all of you and then I will throw the station building in. Large passenger building. Collision, collision, collision. That's all it's saying. Collision. Uh, right. Okay. At the expense of doing a really stupid thing, making that narrow, will it let me get the train station in? This is a bad idea. It will. Well, I'm going to take that for now. Gives me an idea as to what the issue is. Apparently the really doesn't seem to be an issue but you know what it's fine it's fine that's what we're going to deal with and there we go gets gets rid of that that's our current station that's looking remarkably good I'll add a little uh, let's add that onto the station like so and there we go. There's our brand new, brand new station. Uh, unfortunately, this this middle, this section is probably going to get very, very busy. Uh, I'm sure I can work something out to to fix that. Overall, additional configuration required for this. We need to increase the. Uh, we do not need to increase the platform length there. That is actually where we want it. Uh, it's just that the platform. The station just isn't perfectly symmetrical, which is okay. Uh, I think given the nature of this particular station, that is all right. What we do need to do is add in some of this. Hello. There you go. That's what you that's what you want there. And we'll have one, two, three, four, why not? All the way along. So that's five tracks. We can use five tracks right here okay that's the station ready next up we require a fix to this line okay I'm going to attempt to bring this line out like this now it seems to be happy with that it doesn't seem to be complaining whatsoever on on that particular setup um, I'm kind of okay with that in fact it resulted in us not having to demolish these two houses that I said we might have to demolish because it's just managed to go around the back of it which is pretty good do we have any assets that would potentially no Nothing that would run alongside it. That's all mods, which of course we're not using in this, barring the one colour mod. Okay, so now we have a route from Laredo. Uh, Laredo, should I say, there we go. Into Miami. Now what we need to do is try and figure out the route from Miami up to this section, which we finished last time in Oceanside, or coming over the river from Oceanside, or River Middle as I quite like to call this. Somebody did say, name it Riverside. Uh, also, speaking of um, ideas, there was an idea that was given to me which I should probably attempt right now, and that is to have a cargo drop-off point um, where I want the city to grow. So I am actually going to very quickly attempt that in... Uh, what's this place called? Concord. I'm going to really, really quickly attempt that, and I'm going to throw Concord food a little bit of a confusion. 
I am going to actually do that. It is going to slow it down, but I just want to see what happens if I do that. It, it's an experiment. It might work, and if it starts working, I know exactly what I need to do. So thank you very much for for that uh, for that bit of advice. Great comment. I think I, I think I responded. I hope I responded. My microphone's doing weird things. Hopefully that quieted it down. Nope, the microphone is is not happy today. Oh dear. I can see it picking up loads of strange noise. Bear with me a moment. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to have to have a look at that uh, after this video. Right, so what I need to do now is I need to bring this over and over to Oceanside, as I said. But to do that, I need to get rid of this bridge. I'm not going to get rid of the bridge immediately because the first thing I'm going to do is actually bring this along and lower it. Now, looking at lowering that, there's no way a bridge is going to go over that. It just is not going to work. So, I'm just going to lower it down like so, and a bridge should very nicely go over that. So I'll connect the two up like that. I'm then going to demolish the bridge, which is a very silly idea, I'm sure many people are going to say. I'm then going to ensure that this so it continues going down. Um, I mean, the idea is to do that, but if it if it manages it like that, I'm happy to keep that for a short period of time. In fact, up to there, that looks absolutely fine. And then from there to there, we will build up our road. Go on. There you go. Now you'll see it says collision. We cannot do that, but we should be able to do that. Which is, that's alright. That's, that's, I would say that's pretty, uh, pretty reasonable overall. Uh, what I am going to do is smooth this middle part out. Terrain tools, smooth, larger brush size. There you go. There. Nice smooth hill upwards. That way, when the bridge gets put in, it doesn't look wholly ridiculous. Still looks ridiculous. Why is there a hole there? Okay, well, nope, that's even better. I like that bridge far more. I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, go, take it. And then the route can hopefully continue, which it can. Oh, that's an awesome bridge. What if I could fit a tiny little track down the middle? Nope, not happening. Now, I can, I could, if I really, really wanted to, fit a tiny track down the middle there. That's awesome. I might actually do that, I wonder what, what would fit. Now, from here we need to lift this out of the ground. Now, this is a horrible, horrible embankment. Uh, sorry, a horrible, horrible trench. But I need to see how it wants to connect to this. And as you can see, it seems to want to dig a trench the entire way. So if I was to drop this, maybe we could tunnel... Well, that's a that's a long tunnel. That tunnel's probably a bad idea. Let's not do that. So I'm going to try something slightly different. I am going to try and raise this out over a period of time, as you can see, or over a period of length. Nothing too severe. That's pretty much as severe as I want it. And then, now let's see what the connection wants. And that's quite happy to sit above the ground, apart from this little cut here, and that little cut there. It's quite happy to sit above the ground there. And I do not mind the slight di uh, dips, which I, I think they're quite... It's quite nice to have those. So, I will now take that. 
there we go and that is that line completed so now we have a line from Laredo into Miami from Miami over to Oceanside Marietta uh, Concord and then New York City now I want to do something interesting I want to bypass Marietta I've got this one that bypasses it well it doesn't really bypass it does the weird loop thing but I think I can get one just here where the train will just go around here and bypass this this stop altogether so to do that I need to do this there we go it should give us a, a weird balloon like shape I suppose it's not really a balloon is it what is it looks a little bit like a horn if that was bigger that would be like you, you press that that's the bulb of the horn um, we'll come up with ideas as to as to what that is could be the I don't know could be a light bulb interesting type of light bulb but the, anyway that that's besides the point the point is we can do a nice 40 mile per hour corner is that 40? 40 mile per hour corner through here. There we go. So that is our bypass corner. So we can go around there. So our new route is going to go Laredo, Miami, Oceanside, Concord, uh, bypassing Marietta, New York City. That is our new route. So that is what we need to set it up uh, that is what we need to set up so how are we going to set this up well this should be theoretically this should be pretty easy and I would like to start from New York City provided New York City has a crossover which it does if anybody has names for this please put your names I'd say on a postcard but you know it's modern put your names uh, for this route in the comments as as I'm building it right now and uh, start your comments with root idea so that way I can I can uh, immediately pick those out if lots of people comment we're going to call this uh, F no P A R W not F R and for now I'm going to call it New York to Laredo there we go New York to Laredo so that's our third passenger route I'm going to color it I do quite like the uh, that blue there we go we'll go right over to here that's interesting why is that done that is this not connected I'm not sure why it's done that. Okay, we'll we'll continue. Ocean side. It's all doing it on a single side for some reason. Miami. Passenger station. Laredo. Okay. Now let's try and figure out why on earth it's done. What what it's done? I'll go back to Miami too. Where are you going? Fascinating. Back to Oceanside. Back to Concord. And then that's back to New York City. Okay, let's figure this one out. Leaving Concord. It does that and then it immediately goes to single track. What if I... Oh, that's the same colour. Well, that's rubbish. I'll change this colour. There you go. This bit more blue. I am going to force you to take platform uh, one. There you go. Platform one. What do you have now? Well, now you're doing that. Not sure why. Okay, in Oceanside, I'm going to force you to take platform two. Okay. In Miami, I'm going to force you to take platform one. And then in Laredo, you're okay. Okay, now let's follow this along. 
I don't like that blue either. That blue's just a bit too much. That's a really nice blue. Okay. So, coming out of Laredo, you follow along this really nicely. It's very difficult for me to, to figure this one out because in my brain, I want to be having trains on the left as opposed to the right. That's a very easy distinction there on the colours. That's great. We'll hop along this side through there, which is great. Go along here. We're all happy all the way here. We're happy with this. We'll join on to this route. We might need some additional signalling. We're going to need some additional signalling. That's guaranteed. It will go through here. Fine. It will bypass Murrieta. So it will come up here and then peel off straight down. Go straight towards Concord. Theoretically, I could in do a branch like that meaning it will not have to climb all the way up the hill. That's another possibility. If you want to see that, please let me know too. Coming up to Concord, we've got the two outbound platforms or outside platforms. That's good. Pops along here, back onto the current two track, which will become four track. Then it goes off this way and then goes to New York. That is perfectly fine. Great. All right, so we need to improve this ever so slightly with our signaling. Uh, signals, there we go. So we have a signal there, which is fine. So those signals will be for going in there and going in there. That's fine. I am considering having another set of signals here. And a set of signals here. Now I think that should be long, should be long enough to have, sit or fit quite a nice sized train in. They can go in there, they can stop there, and if there's a train in that block, or indeed just coming out of here, they have to wait. Similarly, if there's a train coming out of there, they have to wait, which is fine, or they're just waiting for the next block, uh, which is way down there, which is something that maybe I need to consider because that means that entire block we'll have to see if that block needs a split in there I'm also looking at putting a signal here and here that's reasonable uh, this signal is going outbound that's fine or outbound from here I would like to f fit a signal in in the middle here that allows clearance into this block. Where would that clearance come in from, though? Because otherwise, that clearance is all the way from the station. So they have to wait. If there's nothing in that area, it's going to have to wait. And there could be trains piling in behind. So I would like... Oh, being on a hill is a bad idea. But I want them out the way. That's the thing. I want these guys out the way. So if they're going, they need to be able to get out the way there. That that seems to work for me. That seems to work for me. Any other signals required? Yes, coming out of Miami. We just want to make sure this entire section is clear. Up to there, and then we'll go off in our direction. And that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. That's totally fine. Did I do that? I must have. I must have because the that's really, really close to it. Yes, it's got to have been me. I'm not sure now. I'm losing my mind. Anyway, that is that sorted for now. Let's go over to Concord and see if uh, this has had any effect. I do not think it has. But we'll, we'll see. Let's fast forward just a little bit for the rest of this video. Let's just watch this. I'm going to need the money anyway, so we might as well fast forward and see if anything is getting built up.
Right. Uh, trains seem to be pottering in and out. That's another thing we do need to work on maybe moving. If I could route them to go that way on the way out and then this way on the way in, that might be possible too. I'll, I'll have to see. Right. Nothing seems to be growing here. We, do we have a passenger? Another thing we do not have is a bus stop here. So maybe, maybe having a bus station which, by the way, if this is going to become the main side of it, and I really am hoping it does, I probably want to put a bus station right outside. Let's stick that in as well, whilst I'm waiting. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Do not mess up my design. Do not mess the design. The design is specific. There you go. Well, that's just rubbish. That's just absolutely rubbish. That's just smooth it down. Now we'll pop it back in. Do not mess up the design. I told you. There. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's better. It's still not great. But maybe, just maybe. Uh, who are you? Where do you go? You go all the way there. What if I changed your route? Uh, can you do a detour there and then pop along here? Yes, yes, you are going to. I'm going to remove 7th, 7th Street? 11th Street. And I'm going to add Concord Central. There you go. You have a new route. See what you do there. See how that one pans out for you. What's about the other one? Where does that one go? It goes one, two. I could. Um, I could make it do an entire loop. That would be horrible. That would be horrible. Well, wait, what? Passengers? Hello? Well, that's interesting. There's another passage. That's very interesting. So are these passengers all going to... One, two... That is very, very interesting. Okay, something to something to explore, something to consider with this, with the way bus stops are working, or uh, coach stops, stagecoach stops, with with regards to to stations. It seems like people are preferring to to pop over here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave those going as they are for now, and we'll see. We'll have to see exactly what happens. Uh, 281. We're not we're not doing all too well with emissions. I'm sure I can fix that. In fact, with the amount of money I've got, just to end this episode, let's get this fixed up. So, manage vehicles. Let's go ahead and replace. Do we not have automatic replacement on these? I thought there was a automatic replacement. What's that button? Sell? No. Send to depot? No. Configure maintenance. Let's bring the maintenance to very high as well. And then I will replace the selected vehicles with uh, this one again. Cost me a little bit. And then paint them all with a nice blue. Okay. So that's a, that's a replacement there. You guys can also have a full replacement. Manage vehicles. Same thing. Maintenance. Let's bring that to very high. I've got to maintain the vehicles. Replace selected vehicles. 
with that replace and paint them a nice yellow so now we have the blue stripe and the yellow stripe things are going very well seven people waiting here uh, three people waiting okay so we are managing that and with that i am going to end this episode i think that's a uh, an interesting place to end as well thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports fever 2 leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. Next episode, we are going to have a ride from New York all the way to Laredo on some brand new commuter trains. Hopefully you guys will uh, join me for that. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. For now, I'm EC Gadget, and I shall see you guys next time.